Episode 1. Dr. Goru Amamiya watches a DVD about his favorite idol Eye of B. Kamachi in a hospital patient's room till a nurse politely rebukes him. Goru is devastated when the nurse tells him Eye is on hiatus due to illness. Goru recounts his first patient, Serena, who changed his life when he became a doctor. Serena, who was battling cancer at the time, revealed her feelings for B. Kamachi to Goru in a flashback. She shared with Goru that she liked Eye and was considering adopting a celebrity in the event that Eye passed away. Goru detested the idea of being reborn, but he admitted that he would support Serena if she pursued a career in the entertainment industry after her discharge. After giving him a hug, Serena asked him to marry her. He told her that he would think about it when she was 16 years old. According to Goru, Serena passed away at the age of 12 from anaplastic astrocytoma and would have been 16 years old like I. To Goru's consternation, the nurse continues to suspect that he is a pedophile. Goru learns from Ai, Ai that she always wanted to have a family, but pretended to be an orphan so she could pursue her singing career. Ai, Ai can put her trust in Goru to provide her with robust offspring. On the day that Ai, Ai is due to give birth, Stalker ends up killing Goru. Ai Ai is the mother of Aqua Marine. Ruby does not reveal to Aqua that she is in fact the reincarnation of Serena. While Ai Ai is performing, Ichigo Saitu asks Miyako to watch the twins for him. Miyako is tricked into believing that the twins are gods disguised as humans by the twins, so that Miyako will tell her about Ai's hidden pregnancy. The twins devote their time and attention to idols. A year later, Aqua crosses paths with a filmmaker who, in exchange for Aqua's participation in his movie, is willing to give Ai a part. During filming, Aqua comes into contact with the young actor actress Kana Arima, who has doubts about Ai's performance. The flawless performance that Aqua gave infuriates Kana. Ai eventually achieves her goal two years later. Goru's stalker interrupts Ai's debut performance at the Tokyo Dome and kills her. Before she passes away, Ai loves the twins. The suicide of the stalker memorializes Ai but also forgets her. The Saitus decided to adopt twins. Aqua takes action to avenge Ai's death and ends up killing his father, who was also in the acting business. After the twins start high school, Aqua begins to plot her vengeance. Episode 2 Ichigo hasn't spoken to Ai in the past 10 years since she passed away. Strawberry Productions' idol division was disbanded after B. Kamachi's breakup so that the company could concentrate on internet celebrities. Ruby has been attending auditions in the hopes of becoming an idol, but she's completely unaware of Aqua's sabotage. Ruby is being pursued by an underground idol group, and he is powerless to stop it, because Miyako does not trust the management of the underground idol group and wants to support Ruby's ambitions of becoming an idol. She decides to reopen the idol unit at Strawberry Production and recruit Ruby as its first member. Aqua, who is currently Gotanda's apprentice and has given up acting in favor of tracking down his biological father, is content with his progress. When Gotanda encourages Aqua to continue chasing after his goals, Aqua recalls the last words I spoke to him. Both Aqua and Ruby decided to participate in the performing arts program at Yuto High School. When the twins visit the school, Kana is delighted to see Aqua, but she is perplexed by the fact that Aqua is enrolled in the general education program rather than the performing arts program. Episode 3 In the third episode, Kana makes Aqua an offer to join a live-action production of Sweet Today so that they can be together again. Aqua recognizes Masaya Kaburagi from Ai's private contact list. Aqua accepts a role to be close to Kaburagi. Kana is cast in the role of Aqua's antagonist, but the show itself is terrible. Kana claims that the show cast young male models and placed more emphasis on their looks than on their acting ability. As a result, she had to rein in her acting talent so that she would not be too much for them to handle. She admits that after having a privileged upbringing, she quickly fell out of favor in the acting industry and has been methodically working her way back up since then. During a break in production, Aqua collects saliva samples from Kaburagi's discarded cigarettes, and discovers that Kaburagi is using Kana for the sake of her career. Aqua also discovers that Kaburagi is exploiting Kana. Aqua continues to act despite the fact that he has achieved his goal. Episode 4. Aqua improvises, manipulates the atmosphere, and rouses the lead performer in order to set the stage for Kana's performance. Kana is given the opportunity to demonstrate her acting prowess, which makes the viewers of the show happy. After a paternity test establishes that Kaburagi is not Aqua's biological father, Aqua runs into Kaburagi once more at the rap party for Sweet Today. Kaburagi makes an offer to reveal Aqua's identity to a reality dating show in exchange for the information. Later, Aqua and Ruby enroll as freshmen at U2 High School, and it is there that Ruby strikes up a friendship with gravure model Minami Kotobuki. She starts off by introducing Minami to Aqua, and then moves on to talking about Frill Shiranui, a well-known professional entertainer. As Aqua introduces himself, Frill acknowledges that she is familiar with Aqua and Minami's works. Ruby is concerned about the lack of experience she has in the entertainment industry. She is constantly bugging me Miyako about the Strawberry Productions idol group, but Miyako maintains that it is difficult for a small company to entice idols. Aqua suggests hiring Kana. Episode 5 Despite Aqua's objections, Kana decides to join Strawberry Productions and begin working with her. She is taken aback by the fact that his next job will be on the reality dating show My Love with a Star Begins Now, alongside the likes of the fashion model Yuki Sumi, the dancer Nobuyuki Kumano, the actress Akane Kurokawa, the internet personality Memcho, and the musician Kengo Morimoto. Even though Aqua is acting, Kana is envious 
of the interactions he has with the other female cast members. The Strawberry Productions idol unit is kicked off by Miyak. She approaches the anonymous physical training YouTuber known as Peon and asks for his assistance in getting Ruby and Kana online. Peon comes to the conclusion that having the girls work together with his channel will accelerate their growth. Kana is impressed by Ruby's ability to persevere through a one-hour-long training dance routine. B. Kamachi is brought back to life by Ruby after Peon inquires about the name of the group. Episode 6. In the sixth episode, Aqua discovers that as love now progresses, reality stars are becoming less manufactured and more genuine. Ruby receives instruction from Kana regarding the dangers associated with ego surfing because idols are required to carefully manage their reputations on the internet. To avoid the spotlight, Aqua chooses to stay out of the love triangle involving Yuki, Nobuyuki, and Kengo. Memcho has seen an increase in subscribers, but Akani has seen a decrease in screen time. Akani loses her composure and slaps Yuki, scratching her face inadvertently in the process. Yuki forgives Akani, but Yuki admirers cyberbully her. After falling into a deep depression, Akani comes dangerously close to ending her life by jumping off a pedestrian overpass, but Aqua intervenes just in time to save her. Episode 7. Kana cautions Ruby about the prevalence of suicides among celebrities. At the local police station, the cast of Love Now is introduced to Aqua and Akani. Akani chooses to remain a cast member despite Aqua's request that she leave, and the rest of the cast has pledged their support for her decision. Aqua concocts a plan in order to exact revenge on the producers of the show for turning Akani into a bad guy. He begins by informing the media about Akani's attempt to commit suicide in order to raise awareness. After that, he enlists the help of the cast in order to produce a film with the intention of redeeming Akani's reputation. This film will include the footage that was previously cut of Yuki forgiving Akani. Due to the success of the video, Akani is subjected to less harassment. After that, Memcho and Yuki give the advice to Akani to act just like Aqua. After Aqua admits his love for Ai, Akani begins to obsessively research her. When Akani makes her return to the show during the subsequent filming session, Aqua is impressed by how accurately she can portray Ai Ai. Episode 8. Aqua is taken aback by Akani's performance, and as he mulls over his emotions in regard to both her and Ai, he comes to the realization that he does not know very much about his mother. After a quick discussion with Kana, he comes to the conclusion that he is not interested in Akani. After discovering that she can profile Ai's thoughts and personality, Aqua uses this knowledge to her advantage and manipulates Akani. During the final episode of Love Now, he steals a kiss from Akani in front of the camera, which makes Kana envious. At the rap party for the show, Aqua runs into Kaburagi, who can confirms that he will keep his promise and agrees to meet with Aqua the following week. After talking to Akane, he admits that despite his respect for her as an actress, he does not have any romantic feelings for her as a person. Akane points out that Yuki is dating Nobuyuki, despite the fact that she turned down Nobuyuki on the show. After the party is over, Memcho teases Aqua about his feelings for Akane and explains that she gave up on her dream of becoming an idol after experiencing a number of setbacks along the way. Aqua takes her by surprise by extending an invitation for her to join the revived B. Kamachi.